What's up guys, my name is Cornelius Robinson, and today I want to give you a quick introduction to circuit simulation in Flux. So let's get into it. While still in beta, Flux currently offers a simple simulation environment with the ability to change the code. Let's take a look at this circuit for example. In order for the simulation to work, all of the parts need to have a simulation model. You can filter the library for parts with a simulation model by selecting this button here. And yes, I want this push button. Now, we don't need to start the simulation because it's always running. From what Flux has told me, the simulation uses very few resources, so we don't really need to worry about it. Over on the right hand side in the simulation panel, we can adjust the time step size and simulation speed. Now we can view the details of the simulation by selecting a part and looking in its own simulation panel. For this capacitor, we can see the voltages, depending on where you measure, as well as the current. We can keep any of this data on the schematic by selecting this I button. Everything is pretty much zero at the moment because the button is open. But watch what happens when we close it. We can also keep this button on screen as well. If I hold down this button long enough, the capacitor will charge to a high enough voltage for the LED to turn on. Also, this LED has been set up to change its appearance whether it's on or off. The way that works is by writing some code in the code tab of the part, but we'll cover that in another video. For now, I hope that helps you get started with simulations in Flux. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.